سلام علیکم و رحمت الله اعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم الحمد لله رب العالمین الصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين حبيب الله العالمين أب القاسم مصطفى محمد وعلى آله الطيبين الطاهرين ولعنة الله على أعضائهم أجمعين First of all, just want to thanks to Labbaik Ya Zahra for having such a great program here in Islamic Center. And this is not the last program which Labbaik Ya Zahra has, it, has here. And inshallah, we are going to have more ceremony, more program here by La Begya Zahra and some other organization. So all organizations who are dealing with such a program are most welcome. And then this ceremony, this program, which has been held by this great institute or foundation by the name of La Begya Zahra under the supervision of Sister Omar Farwa and of course, her husband and all brothers and sisters who work with her. I really appreciate their job and I appreciate those who helped to this ceremony to be like organized very well and with lots of fruit as well. Okay, so this ceremony shall is fruitful. And you have lots of other fruit over there. So inshallah we are going to enjoy from fruit and fruit, inshallah. The second thing which I just want to talk and to tell you, I don't want to take too much of your time, maybe 10, 15 minutes. I really want to offer my sincere congratulations to all of you, dear brothers and sisters, for the blessed anniversary or for the blessed birth of our beloved Imam, Imam Zaman, Jalallah Ta'ala Faraj al-Sharif. To you and to all who are waited for this great personality in Islam and in human, not only in Islam. Regarding our beloved Imam, Jalallah Ta'ala Faraj al-Sharif, we have so many things to say but today I'm, I'm sure that you're tired you started from two o'clock thank you <laughs> okay say I, i'll say something you will not be tired okay inshallah <laughs> I was just going. I was just going to tell him that he is going to receive his envelope full of money, so he will not be tired. Says Alawat. One of the most important things for Montadir, the one who is waiting for somebody, especially for our beloved Imam, Imam Zamanak Jalalallahu Taala Fajr Shari. There are some, some certain duty, some certain responsibility for Montadirin, for those who are waiting for this beloved Imam. Of course, this area is a very wide area, and you can talk hours and hours regarding the wadaif, the duty of Montadir. I'm just going to quote to two or three and just leave it. One of the most important duty of a montadar is just to prepare himself or herself and offer his readiness or her readiness to Imam Zaman. Some people, they call themselves as a montadar, but they don't care 
when Imam Zaman is coming, or where is coming, where is going to come, or what is going to do. If really you're waiting for somebody, let's say, for example, if you're waiting for some guest, you prepare everything at home, okay, clean it, and prepare some special food, and if you want, you can, you invite some certain guest, you tell them that we have an like honorable person is coming, please come and be with us. You show your readiness for this waiting. Who is better than our beloved Imam and his coming? How much we are ready for his coming? This word, look at this word, his coming. Who said he is going to come? This, I think, probably this word is not correct. Imam Zaman is going to come. Where is he? Is going to come? No, he is with us. He is with us. But we are not able to see him. So he's not, he's not going to come from a like, far place from abroad, from some certain country. No, he's with us. We are not qualified to see him. That is the problem. So we have to remove the, like the problem or prevention from ourselves. Our eyes, it's not qualified, eligible, or is not like prepared to see him. If our eyes is not prepared to see him, so for 100 years later, still he is with us, but he cannot declare that he, you, you, you cannot declare that he did zuhur. Because zuhur depends on you, your situation. Because he is zahir, and he is with us. So, the first wadifa, the first like, duty of Muntazar is to change himself or herself. To be in a way that able to see him. If you are able to see him, then you are able to offer your help to him. Otherwise, if you can't see your leader, if you can't hear the voice of your leader, if you can, if you cannot hear the, uh, the commands of your order, how you are going to help him. Even if you, are, you have like fully armed, for example, okay? You prepared everything, but you cannot hear the voice of your leader. You cannot see where is your leader. Is it possible to help him? Definitely no. So the first, the most important thing, we have to prepare our ears to be able to, he to hear his word. Our eyes to, he to see him and our heart to accept him. One of the things which is mentioned in the Quran in this regard, it's called Adabul Hudur. Okay? In Arabic term, or probably in Urdu you can understand. Adab, you know the meaning of Adab. Hudur, you know the meaning of Hudur. Hudur means the presence. Adab, of course, you know. Mannering. Okay? So Adabul Hudur requires, or one of the demands of the Adabul Hudur is, you should see him in front of yourself. If you see him in front of yourself, then your action will be corrected. For example, if you know in this majlis or in, in front of you, there is a, a great personality, a great marja is in front of you. Your action would be the same as one hour before? Definitely no. You will see, oh, you see, Oh, there is a great personality here. I have to be more careful. So if Imam Zaman is there, so our adab al requires we have to be more careful. It's mentioned in the Quran. Alam ya alam ba'anna Allah yara? Why Allah says this word? Alam ya alam ba'anna Allah yara? You cannot see that Allah, you, you don't know that Allah is going, as Allah sees you. What does it mean? When they say Allah sees you, it means be careful. The one who is going to judge, huh? he is the witness. 
Can you imagine? Can you escape from such a person? The Shah had, he himself is the judge. The witness, he himself is the judge. So who is going to escape from this judge? So our Imam, our beloved Imam, he himself, he sees us. When he sees us, then our action is in presence. That is called, he, he is called Imam al-Zahir. Well, one of the uh, like the attributes of the Imam is called, they know about the Zahir and Batin. So, Adab al-Zuhur requires that we have to pre prepare our readiness, our preparedness for this great personality. Otherwise, he will be with us for maybe 100 years, but still we are not able to offer him anything. Let's say, for example, you prepared lots of fruits here, and you cannot see your guests. This fruit is here, but you cannot see your guests. You are not going to offer this fruit to the guests. If all of the things, if all of this sort of activity we prepared, and we, we don't know who is our imam and where is our imam, then our preparedness is useless. The second thing, and the last actually, we, another responsibility, we have to introduce our imam to others, especially in this country. The country which is not a Muslim country or a Shia country. Our responsibility is to introduce such a great personality to others. We have to inform the other people that there is an imam or we have an imam, a great personality, and we are waiting for such a great personality and he is going to come. Then these people will ask that so many questions will raise. But if you don't, do not talk about Imam Zaman al sam anywhere, and then can you expect people to know about your Imam? Definitely no. So I really appreciate this kind of activity because this activity is a, like introducing Imam Zaman al sam to others. That is why I don't want this program only be broadcast among the Muslim and among the Shia. Try just to send it as much as you can to your non-Muslims, brother, I mean, friends, brothers, sisters, whoever. Because they need to know about this great personality. If they don't know, then how we, we can expect these uh, people to uh, prepare their readiness for the Imam? They don't know anything about the Imam. First, we have to inform, then the demands, the thirst will come. If they don't know about the Imam Zaman al-Islam, definitely they will not going to help. So why, uh, one of the things which is mentioned, uh, actually all of you, you know, we believe that Jesus Christ, alayhi salam, Hazrat Isa, alayhi salam, is going to come with Imam Zaman al-Islam. Why? Because most of the Christian, because they know already about the Jesus Christ, and then with the help of Jesus Christ, they will be invited or they will be able to prepare or to offer their readiness for Imam Zaman Salam. So Allah took advantage of this. They're like Christian because they know about it. Jesus Christ, and then they offer their readiness, they offer their help to Imam Zaman al -Sam. So we have to be able to introduce this great personality to so many other people, Christian, Jew, uh, Hinduism, Buddhism, I don't know, so many people. This is the responsibility of Muntazir. Muntazir, because this Imam is not Imam of only the Shia. Nobody says, according to the Quran, Ahadith, nobody says that Imam Zaman alayhi salam, when he, come, he, he comes, when he comes, he will help only the Shia. He says, he will fill the earth full of justice. Earth, Ard, Zameen. This earth belongs to everybody, not to belong to only the Shia. 
So when he is going to fool this earth full of justice, so the earth, the people of earth should be ready to receive him. And if they don't know anything about Imam Zaman alayhi salam, how they are going to receive, how they will uh, like uh, help him, then who's respons who is like felt in this area and did not perform or fulfill his responsibility? We. Because we were not able to introduce our imam to the others. Now you can see in a social media, in so many like cases through media, it's single person or single like uh, things. If they want to, I mean, the, I mean the Western media. If they want to introduce, they make it in a way that in a one day whole world will be full aware about these per things, isn't it? For example, if they wanted to introduce coronavirus to the whole world. Before this COVID-19, who, I mean, how many people were, I mean, able to know, I mean, how many people they knew about the COVID-19? After like one week or two, three weeks, whole world was, was full of this news. But now, 1,400 years ago, we believed that somebody is coming, but even among our Shia community, they are not fully aware about this. I'm sure that if this great personality, our beloved Imam, was like they, he belongs to the like this society or this like world, they would introduce him in a best way to all of the world. But we don't know. That is why I really appreciate such a great work, such a great like. Uh, ceremony. I thanks to everybody who organized this program, and I want share this like uh, program to each other, and to, uh, especially to non-Muslim. Let them know about this like program, and inshallah, Allah will give us more chance to be prepared. I mean, to be able to offer our help, to offer our like nusrah to this great personality. Once again, thank you very much for uh, having such a uh, good and fruitful program, especially for this beloved Imam, Ajjalallah Ta'ala Farajuhu Sharif, and inshallah, uh, I, I don't know uh, how many like other programs there, but we are here just to uh, let's see what is going to happen and all of us inshallah will enjoy I thank Labbaik uh, Ya Zahra for uh, organizing such a great program and I thank Allah that gave me this chance to be part of this ceremony Assalamu Alaikum Wa Rahmatullah Wa Barakatuh